like it's possible some stuff falls through the cracks. If we're seeing too many squads use the same captain and therefore a similar squad because of an overtuned captain ability, then we're going to step in and adjust that captain ability to allow other captains to shine. Okay. Ideally, that won't have to happen, but since one of the biggest goals of captains is to increase the diversity of the squads you see online, if a certain captain is preventing that, then we'll make some changes to the strength of that captain. Ability. Let us know if it's overpowered. If they turn out to be too powerful, please talk to us, let us know, and we'll make changes when it's applicable. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter and our socials and our Instagrams and the show.com to provide feedback. And also make sure you go download the companion app. We haven't talked about the companion app. You can do all of your Diamond Dynasty transactions on the companion app. Where can you find it? It's in the iOS and Android marketplace. James, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me again. Mini Seasons 2.0, what does that mean? Uh, we did a pretty huge overhaul of Mini Seasons this year. Um, last year, Mini Seasons was my first project as a, as a designer on the team. And um, there's a lot we wanted to add that we just didn't have enough time to add. So we, we circled back and we've really done a lot of improvement. Um, I think the, the summary would be we've added uh, theme seasons, uh, stat tracking and awards, as well as custom built away stadiums, and we have a completely revamped UI. So before we jump into what's new in Mini Seasons 2.0, first for our new fans, what is a Mini Season and where is this game mode located at, James? Uh, Mini Seasons is in Diamond Dynasty under single player, and it's uh, basically like the name says, it's a, it's a small season. You play a 28 game season, each game is three innings long. Um, last year you would play against uh, teams that were CPU controlled but based off of other Diamond Dynasty players squads mm -hmm. um, so each run was different uh, this year like we that. still have that functionality but we've also added themes so essentially rather than just playing against uh, other Diamond Dynasty squads from the community back. you could instead play a theme season where um, you know say the theme is all lefties you'd have to build a team around Ron? that theme so you'd have uh, to build an only left-handed team does. and the opposing uh, players are still, uh, the opposing teams are still controlled by a CPU, but they're also designed around that theme. So it'd be an all lefty league. Um, and it's just a new, interesting twist on the same formula and, and just a new fun way to, to challenge yourself to build some new uh, interesting team builds that you might not have done before. Nice, nice. So sounds exciting. What are you most excited about when it comes to mini What's seasons 2.0, DH, and two-way There he is. Oh man, I, I think, uh, Mini Seasons 2.0 is the place to be for sure. It's uh, the UI looks way better than I could have ever imagined. Uh, we got so many talented people working on the feature. I think it's just going to have a lot of great variety. You know, as as the Ray dog days of summer, beast. yeah, he around, was a good player. Still going to have a lot of fun no gameplay over in Mini Seasons. A lot of fun cards to, uh, to I earn. I misplaced my phone, and guys. We've just done a lot to uh, make let it me know if I miss anything a lot good. more fun. We'll play some Madden after the this. Past, we'll like we created a see what else we do. So I'll be right back. You're going to get to go and play in Cairo and London and uh, Liechtenstein and see you know castles and pyramids and all that good stuff. So it'll be a lot of fun. Kyle talked about sets and seasons earlier. How does that work with Mini Seasons 2.0? Uh, most of the themes that we throw out in mini seasons will uh, have the added restriction that they are like they require set eligible cards, um, and we're planning on releasing a new theme every season. So uh, and they'll stick around for uh, two seasons. So there's going to be some overlapping, and there's going to be a lot of new content churning out. But we also want to keep our options open um, and create some themes that might have enough of a limitation factor that like there aren't enough cards in one set to to like fully build a roster um so in that case you know we'll just make the theme set in independent and you know let everybody have some fun all right thank you so much james for giving us that rundown on mini seasons 2.0 designated hitter and full two-way player implementation in mlb the show 23 yeah thank you so much this is a lot of fun all right we have talked about so much already diamond dynasty is changing we got sets seasons wild card captain's ability designated hitter two-way player changes many seasons now let's jump in and talk about ranked co-op yeah so if you played the tech test you might have already gotten your hands on it but we're adding an all-new way to play co-op and also improving the overall co-op experience remind everybody at home how does co-op in diamond permit. dynasty work so in Diamond Dynasty Co-op, you use your combined card collection to build a squad with your friends, then play a 2v2 or 3v3 match against another co-op team. Co-op was a great feature we added last year, but we hear your guys' feedback, and there's still some room for improvement, so we're adding more incentive to play the mode, plus some other things. Let's take a look at Co-op Ranked. Yeah, Co-op is getting its very own ranked ladder, where you can play with your friends for rank rewards. It'll be available in 2v2 or 3v3, and use the same squad building system that currently exists, including captains. So how does this new rank system work? Mm -hmm. So in Co-op Ranked, you'll be yeah. applying for rating. 
Your you rating in co-op ranked and is completely separate from your rating in what we'll be calling solo ranked from now on. By increasing your rating, you'll earn rewards from reaching higher divisions. Just like your rating, this reward path is completely separate from the existing yeah, solo ranked good. reward path. Mm. Right, he so if you've already hit World Series and solo ranked, sure. you can hit World Series again and co-op ranked and double up on rewards. So you, you, what you're basically saying, if everybody caught that, it's the same reward path, you can just get it twice. And you may be thinking, why? Well, that might not be cool, same but it is cool get it because twice of choice path and you're doubling up on all of the content in that normal reward path. Now you get it twice. Yeah, so where this really I mean, helps it's come nice in to handy. double down. I'm not that and good since there's two rewards, I guess you could get them both like grinding. But on Hall of Fame, I was hoping for unique rewards. We can team up to get for, some of these rewards that otherwise might have been hard to My hopes are dashed. That's totally right. We're trying to make these rewards accessible for everybody, even these top tier World Series reward cards. We're also changing how the ranked program works a little bit. It's still there, but it counts your progress in both co op and solo ranked together. So both those modes will feed into the same program to help you earn those rewards too. Hmm. Who can I play co-op ranked with? One of the coolest things about co-op ranked is that you can play with any of your friends no matter what your individual rating is. Ashley just told us you can get these rewards thrice. Right, Cal? How does that work? Yeah, so once solo, once co-op, and then the ranked program. Nice. That's thrice. That's thrice. We'll dive a little bit more into the ranked program and the content stream, so... Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the program. So Ian, you mentioned some improvements to the experience too. What's up with that? One of the biggest pieces of feedback we got in MLB 22's co-op mode was how frustrating it was for games to end early just because one player quit. So we've implemented some new features that should reduce the number of games that are ended prematurely. Oh, yes we did. And we heard everybody loud and clear that was very, very frustrating. So what's the biggest change coming? The number one biggest change is that in 3v3 mode, if one person leaves the match, instead of just canceling the whole game, the game will continue in a 3v2 with the roll rotation adjusted to keep the game rolling. Yes! <laughs> this is so... Y'all don't know how frustrating this was. Actually, they do know exactly how frustrating this was. It was super frustrating. Say that one more time. How does it work now if somebody drops out if we're in a 3v3 match? So if we're in a 3v3 right so now and somebody leaves the game, the game just ends. If somebody leaves, what happens now? So now, if we're in a 3v3 game and somebody's go walk their dog or something, the game keeps going in a 3v2 and we keep rolling and playing. I would like to think people will go and walk their dog, but I don't think that's why they were jumping out. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as there are I two more players it. in the squad, the match will continue, and this will be true in every co-op mode, not just ranked, right? That's right. These changes apply in every co-op mode from casual co-op to the existing depth. Zone. So essentially we can keep playing after someone leaves the game, but what happens to the person who left? <laughs> so if you abandon a ranked co-op match before the end of the game, you'll be hit with a Q cooldown penalty, so you can't immediately play again. I hope those stack. Yeah, so this penalty will be relatively short at first, but if you abandon a lot of games in a short amount of time, it can go as high as a week. Yes, they stack. Awesome. So what's the goal of this? The goal here is to disincentivize players from leaving games early by making people think twice before abandoning their teammates. Okay, so will I get a cooldown penalty? I, mean, I won't get it because I don't leave games because I'm a really good player. And, you know, I, I commit to things even if we're losing a lot. So, will I get a cooldown penalty for leaving the game early no matter what? Not no matter what. So, with the new surrender vote, a game can still end early without any players getting a Q cooldown. How if does the new surrender vote work? So, if your team unanimously votes to surrender, then the game ends early in a loss, but you can immediately queue again and get back to the action. This means that if you're losing by 10 runs, you don't have to wait until the end of the game to leave without a penalty, as long as everybody on your team agrees to end the game early. And why shouldn't everybody agree if you can stomp? Well, yeah, that's, that's what the feature's there for. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, is there anything you want to reinforce? Or what's your most important, or oh, your favorite new addition to rank co-op? I think the most important thing is you can queue with anybody, no matter their rating. You can play with your friends no matter how good your friend is, no matter how good you are, you can always play together. Mm -hmm. And you have new ways to get your hand on some of these really amazing Grind 99 rewards. Absolutely. Yeah, the power of friendship comes in again. <laughs> but we are not done. We, this is the Diamond Dynasty feature premiere. We still have a content stream. That's going to be later. We're just talking about features and changes right now. We've content talked about stream. sets and seasons new to Diamond Dynasty. The wild card feature, also new. Also new is they designated hitter in DD. Two-way player, full functionality in Diamond Dynasty. Captains, another new feature. Many seasons are changing, and we just gave you all of the changes to ranked co-op. But that's not all. What about program rewards, Kyle? Yeah, we've got a uh, we've got one last Team trick Affinity. up our sleeve. It's called unlimited program rewards. 
Uh, there's a common issue we saw in previous years where when you reach the end of the feature program, it kind of just felt like you ran out of rewards and you lost a lot of incentive to play. Unlimited Clearly, rewards, we've got something but to solve that exact sleep. issue. Let's show it. Last year, you'd have your boss pack and then a bunch of extra rewards after that. Instead, this year, the program will kind of end at the boss pack, but instead you see this infinite loop that you can fill up a bunch yeah, of times. Yeah, this is, this is so good. Whenever you finish the program, I'll give them credit. any XP good. you earn fills up that loop, and then once it fills, you get a reward. And you can do that an unlimited amount of times. So let's say we max out our XP. We got another 25,000 XP. Let's see what happens. Yeah, shout out to our UI no time and to our teams. We need one of those uh, glitches again. We have ever set the controller created. down Let's in retro out. mode. Just let it grind there for itself. There are six itself. rewards you can get. Three Come silver, two gold, and one diamond. Diamond being the rarest, of course. So whichever icon is lit up at the end of this animation, that's the reward that you get. Let's try it out. As you can see, the icon bounces what? around, what? bounces around. What is, th what is this? You gotta pick when to stop. And if you hit stop, okay, now it's slowing down, slowing Give down. me the diamonds! Oh, okay, I thought it was a diamond for hey, a second. Hey, balling is a but, habit. Uh, that, that works. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, these rewards are going to be changing throughout the year and even throughout each season. We're going to be seeing some boss packs in there, maybe, some promo packs, stubs. So you're going to go to a rewards, reward board. board. Rewards, you is don't get everything inside the loop. You get a, a, a spin, basically. And only in the I like it a little bit less. There it is. So we are at for the grinding end out twenty five thousand. But if I'm Diamond playing Dynasty anyways, feature premiere. Yeah, we free. still have the Diamond Dynasty live content stream. Big emphasis on live. That's going to be live right before early access, right, Stephen? March twenty third is going to be fun. We have even more I need to that things message. I'm sorry, guys. to reveal. It is not over. With my pinky bell on my mouth, y'all can't see me, so you can't see me doing this. We want to thank Kyle, Ian, and James for being on the stream today. There will be another feature premiere next week. It's where they don't be have sure them to on follow camera. us on social media. Go download the companion this, app and be uh, sure to go to the show.com and sign up for the scouting report so you can get notified when all of these streams go live and you can get some really cool packs. Until next week, we'll see you later. All right, so that was that. Uh, sorry I got here late guys. I wanted to be on early. We went to go pick up KFC and some BK and um, Once you know it was just super busy through town and Yeah, I just didn't make it back in time um, To be here for the stream to start so I was thinking to go on later today so we could react to the the new legends and all those things Lindsay great to see you. How are you doing? Thanks for um, all the interactions on uh, on TikTok. I've been trying to check out your clips um, when I see them pop up in my feed. Not the best on some of those platforms, but you know, as time goes by, hopefully get better at them. Uh, let me get us settled here for some Madden, and we'll finish up Mutt Champs today. And after Mutt Champs, I'm really open to whatever throughout the the weekend, Friday through through Monday and then Monday we'll have more more about champs I guess um, to get into so I don't know I did get it hooked up and I got it I got it working I have new cables coming today which should uh, give me the optimized um, now why isn't my capture card picking up here this ain't good it should give me the optimized uh, cabling thing this is so weird Cause I see my I see my game right here, right? But I don't see it. I got ones from Amazon that are supposed to be supposed to be the right thing. Um, this is this is bizarro land. I don't know if I should take my capture card out and and have it pick it back up or what. I guess we could try that. So sorry guys. Yeah, it, everything looks like I'm ready to play, but it's not capturing the uh, the capture card. So that ain't great. I just deleted it and trying to bring it back in. Yes, doing the same thing over here. It's got the window, but not the capture card. So bear with me. I wasn't expecting any te technical difficulties today. But here we are. I could end stream and come back live, but I'd rather not if I could. Um, I 
Hopefully this will work. Might need to just unplug it and plug it back in. Let's see if that works. Hopefully. But yeah, uh, the HDMI, uh, they're supposed to be equivalent to whatever it is that we need for them. Um, they're the Amazon basic ones that I bought Bodiggity, so hopefully those will be good. Yeah, I'm trying to unplug my capture card and plug it back in. Hopefully we'll be good. Doesn't look like it. Now I'm not seeing it on my screen. Uh, okay, screen's working, but you guys don't have the image. Handsome Donnie. Handsome Donnie's feeling stressed out. I, my, my stuff ain't working, Des. Um, this is weird. I wonder if I should close OBS. I'm going to try closing OBS. Please please hang tight. Be back here in a flash, hopefully.